Hello everyone, I'm Matt, and this is just another drop in the bucket. And today's pen I'm going to be showing off is going to be my favorite, Twisby Draco. This is a remake of the Twisby Classics, which are acrylic body pens. But this one has a special limited edition acrylic that they use. It's meant to symbolize dragons, and it has some neat colors to it. I'm going to start off with the packaging, not the pen, because it is a little bit different. The typical package that you'll see that this typically is supposed to come with would be brown, but this has a nice black uh, sleeve to it with a nice, very gold, uh, rose gold uh, Twisby logo to it. This is a little bit more of your fanfare regular and also super regular, but in the right colors, sorry there, is the paper sleeve inside that it has, the envelope. And then it has some instruction on all the inking and the greasing and just overall showing you how to take care of the pen, clean it out, re-ink it, everything you need to know with a fountain pen. And what would be right by the pen when you first open it would be the, uh, the grease and the wrench for uh, re-greasing the piston and the piston uh, knob. And how you take it off and all that so everything you need to take care of this pen in the long run when you want to really um, clean it out and get it working good again especially since it is a broad nib you will probably be very tempted to use it with some of the fancier inks that you want to clean out this is the pen itself right here it is a fairly large pen compared to the Lamy Ion they're about the same height, roughly. Um, can you get it? Right there. So they're the same height, approximately. However, you can see it is much thicker. And that's, that remains true with all the other pens that I will be showing you today, such as uh, the Twisby 700 VAC. You can see um, it's taller with the cap. However, is a narrower body, um, has the bigger flare up by the back, and the pen BBS 456 is also taller with the cap, however, also still a narrower body. So this is the pen in question today, and the one that I really like the most out of my entire collection. I'm the most proud of this one right now. Um, I've tried others, I like others, but Overall, I love the colors. I love the look. Um, let's see. There you go. You can see the laser engraved Twisby logo. It is fantastic looking. I love it. It's kind of hidden. You have to get it in the right light, but it is still there. And that's the outside. You can see it has a light taper across the wide body. So it comes down over this way towards the grip section and it tapers just a little bit back barely at all towards the piston and you can see it has the rose gold bands on either side and that brings us to the grip section which has the standard bell shape it is a fairly large grip I do like it the threads are smooth and also rose gold. It's not really in focus, but the best I'm going to get for right now, I feel like. Uh, a standard black um, plastic feed and a number six nib, so it is a bit bigger than some others. I have smaller ones, especially in my extra fine pens, like the pen BBS I showed you, and the it is also rose gold on the nib. It, it is extremely soft writing. And I don't mean like the nib is soft, but it's smooth. It does offer a little bit of feedback, but it's not toothy, it's not sharp. Um, overall, it's just a smooth, easy writing experience. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it a hard start because I usually only wait maybe a week. Once a week do I use this pen because it's such a broad and wet writer. But I love it, and it writes really silky smooth. Um, 
I love the ink window. It really displays how much ink you have. I think I'm a little bit on the lesser side, but it does display ink fairly well. Um, the piston knob is really great. I'll demonstrate a little bit to show you. You just a little bit of the operation there. I'm not going to fully take it out because it is inked. I don't want to be stupid and squirt ink everywhere. There you go. Um, again, I love the matching colors. I love the matching rose gold. The only complaint I really have is inside. You see that's also a, meta a metallic thread. And the threads do tend to try to... Um, they stick and they try to cross thread. So you kind of have to lube it so you don't ruin the threads if you get in a hurry with it. That's really my only complaint. Inside... You can see I think it has a plastic liner in there just like the rest of Twisby. So it does keep it, you know, writing fairly easily and wet even after a long capping period and not writing. Um, overall, this is literally just by look and for a broad writing experience, I love this pen. And now I'm going to show you some writing samples of this pens and others, including today's intro. I don't have the best camera set up for a live writing sample. However, I can show you what I have. This is the introduction page and the introduction um, letters I wrote. And you could see um, right there by the A and the B and then the big wet area, that is the broad nib. Now, the lines right next to it are written with the medium to try to give you a little bit of comparison to the broad. So you could see it is just a little bit narrower. And the lines next to it, they're a medium. Sorry, I don't know if I said that was broad. Um, but that's from a 700 vac and a medium right there. Um, the writing with the same ink, literally the same ink. It's one of my bigger ink bottles that I had to start with, so I inked a lot of my initial pens with it. And a lot of them are still going on the initial inking because I have so many pens now. Um, I will say if you get right up close to it, you can see the broad nib definitely has a bit more wetness to it. It looks a little bit more brushy, while the medium looks just like a very uh, a thick pen experience as, as compared to others, like the, like the broad. You can see right there, when you really look up close, they're similar, but just a little bit narrower on the medium. And it's a very juicy writer with that 700 vac on the large one. Uh, below it, just for some, for some comparison, my Lamy Ion and the uh, Dark Forest Green, which was, I think, the 2021 edition. Uh, just a quick ink smudge fairly light writer, very little ink. It's more similar to writing with a ballpoint in terms of ink output. Uh, my Pen BBS 456 also I believe has an extra fine in it. Also you can see very, very little ink disbursement. Um, and I thought that ink was a fairly wet ink. That's uh, the Diamine Ancient Copper. Um, I think the nib needs some tuning. I, get, I need to shim it. That's an upcoming project I'll probably do for you. And just a writing all of its own, the Twisby 700 vac. Uh, there's the line. You can see it's a little bit less brushy, a little bit more thick pen. Almost like you're writing with a felt tip. Again, the vac with the medium nib. Very smooth writer, very wet writer, very long body. Um, here's a look at those pens. Um, in comparison, the vax tend to be a little bit more narrow, but with a little flare at the top for the piston. Uh, the pen BBS is a little bit more slimline. Um, the vac portion of it is a little bit trickier to understand and get working smoothly. I think I just, I haven't experienced something close to it. I was used to the vac up there. I've seen it on other pens where it has a little bump up top. Um, and the cigar shape of the ion is pretty cool. I will say, um, direct comparison, I like the resin pen as opposed to the metal for sure. 
while I do think it ha offers a certain level of um, weight and usability just throwing around, I don't like the aluminum bodies. I like the acrylic bodies a lot better. They're lighter, they're softer on the hand. Um, overall, I just, I like it. I don't regret buying it at a broad. I don't use it as much, but in terms of, you know, having a signature on a piece of paper, it's going to be a very unique, very you signature that very few people will imitate if you have a broad nib pen. And people are going to remember, hey, he signed with that giant pen. It produced a giant signature, very thick, very juicy, very hard to imitate. And I'm going to conclude that this is, in fact, my favorite pen of the collection, of all my collection, and um, it is very lightweight. It's a piston filler, which is a big thing with Twisby, but I like it on other pens now, too. Um, it, it's a larger ink capacity. It has that ink window in it. I love the colors. Um, on it, let me see if you could find the Twisby right there, Twisby. It doesn't have any other part of the name, but the laser engrave is there for it. I love it. I love the head and logo on the top. Oh, look at that. Comes out nice and clear for you right there. I love it. It's beautiful. It writes so wet. It writes so smooth. It offers just a little bit of feedback to know that you're actually writing on paper and not glass. Um, when you put this on really nice paper, like fountain pen paper, it does just a marvelous job. And if I was using uh, a wetter ink, it would be even smoother and even nicer. Overall, let me just show you what this looks like on the back of a standard page of paper to show that it doesn't just bleed straight through to the other side. Here's the page behind it. You can see no ink. Here you can see, oh yes, it does go through, so this is definitely uh, front side only. Even the 700 vac bled straight through pretty much, or at least it ghosted through. It didn't really bleed because there's nothing on the other side. Um, but you can see the extra fine if you're looking for that ballpoint experience where you could really write both sides. I'd stick with the extra fines. Um, I'd probably work out just a little bit more ink from maybe the pen BBS. I'm really happy with the ion and its performance and with this ink. I liked it with the original ink I had, which was uh, a crystal ink by Lamy. I think it was the Azure, which is a purple kind of bluish with a shimmer in it. However, it is almost impossible to work out of the nib, even after a lot of hard work. That is a discussion for another day. And this has been just another drop in the bucket with your host, Matt. Have a great day.